I actually had a question for Ez. Since you talked so much about midichlorians last episode, I wanted to pose this thought or theory that I've had for a while. When Palpatine tells Anakin about Darth Plagueis, Palpatine says that Plagueis could manipulate the midichlorians to create life. Is Palpatine low-key telling Anakin that he was created by the dark side? We know that Shmi said Anakin had no father. This could possibly explain why his midichlorian count is so high, because he wasn't just Force-sensitive, he was created using midichlorians. What do you think? Am I tripping? Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Love the podcast, Tino. Thank Appreciate you, this. Tino. Yeah. Um, let's talk about this for a second. There is a, I think it's other, people debate this. Is the Darth Plagueis book, the Plagueis book, is it canon or is it not? Um, some people would say it's, it's not a debate. Disney came out and said that it's mm -hmm. legends. And the only things that were canon were the movies and the animated TV series. Yeah. Right. But there have been times where they bring back in story that is based in legends and mm -hmm. they repurpose it and they add on to it and it becomes sort of canon now because okay. in that book there's a there's a Plagueis book where literally Darth Plagueis is working on manipulating midichlorians and trying to create life trying to extend his own life wow. and yeah exactly huh? yeah and in the in the films in episode three Palpatine says Darth Plagueis was betrayed by his apprentice which is Palpatine Palpatine's talking about his old wow. master, and he's but he's not telling him that this is who he is. He's just saying, mm -hmm. "Have you heard uh, of him?" And then, "Have you heard of this of this epic where he's betrayed by his 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 apprentice?" But they both were studying how to manipulate midichlorians, how to create life, if you will, and, yeah. and, and to save someone that you know from dying, which is what yeah. Anakin wants to do. That's the whole. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what his whole. Him yes. In. Yeah. So. Wow, and he. I mean, that means Palpatine actually could have helped him. Not really he, at this stage, and he knows yeah. it's just a mm -hmm. kind of like a story to, to get him over to his side. But I mean, in the long run, oh, absolutely, could have. This is what he knew wow. it took to bring Anakin to the dark side. But yet, it was not something he would. Even if Palpatine figured it out, he's like, mm -hmm. "That's for me, bro. Yeah, I'm not bad. True. I mean, like, I'm gonna figure that out, and <laughs> I don't want you to take over. I want to be a Sith Lord forever." So, in the Plagueis book, it is talked about that he uses, um, he is, he is studying. He's almost like a mad scientist studying about midichlorians and how can you manipulate life. He brings mm -hmm. in certain other, you know, force sensitives and and uh, it does experiments on them. What I have read and what I think I remember from that book is that they were kind of saying that the force responded to Darth Plagueis, okay. to the Sith. That the light side, because the dark side was learning this power and learning how to manipulate life and create sort of, um, yeah, yeah, a power that would make him immortal, the light side rose up or created a champion, mm -hmm. Anakin. Oh. If that makes sense, right? So that now that is, you, know, you go back and forth because as Tino is saying, people debate this. They're like, no, 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 no. What about the idea then that Palpatine learned this from his master or that mm -hmm. Plagueis or that Palpatine sort of did something to Shmi and did experiment from afar and, and, and created like life in her? Yeah. Um, there is a comic book that comes out. And there was some weird, mad Vader vision where Palpatine was standing behind Shmi mm -hmm. doing some crazy Sith work and created life. And that could have been Anakin, wow. which is wild. Um, I believe the way that that story. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> okay, sorry. Maybe the way I described that. <laughs> maybe that wasn't the best. I mean, literally, I'll, I'll pull it. You guys go look it up. There's a comic where it's just like he's, he's you know, okay. his Sith magic is going on. Anyway. All right. We try to keep this PG. You know what I mean? But sometimes we can't help it. Thanks, Tino, for getting us into this. But, uh, yeah, so it's it's a trippy one to go back and forth on. Was he created by the dark side? It's sort of like what they tried to do in The Force Awakens, where Luke Skywalker retreats and he steps away. After mm -hmm. Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, first Ben Solo, falls to the dark side, a great champion of the dark side mm -hmm. arises, and that is Ben Solo. Yeah. So Luke Skywalker's like, I know I'm the champion of the light side. <laughs> yeah. I know that I am this person, but I am tired, or I'm like, I don't really like the way that they necessarily did this, but it is what they did it's yeah fine. um so they said that you know luke decided i'm going to go to octu he goes to that planet right yeah and he retreats and cuts himself off from the force so that the force could awaken in ray oh so find a new it champion would find a new light. champion yes oh, okay. and it would and it would exactly and so what it does and what ends up being canon in disney is that the new champion is ray who is palpatine's granddaughter yeah 
okay? Crazy. Wild, yeah. So Darth Vader's grandson is the champion of the dark side, and Palpatine's granddaughter is champion of the light side. Yeah. Twisted. Yeah. I mean... It's crazy. It's almost like I wish it would have. It still could have been like that, but not bring Palpatine back. I just, I just, yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah. Whatever. We're not gonna get into all that. But so that's sort of what has been implied with the Plagueis book. Back when it mm -hmm. was, you know, when it came out and people were talking about it, it's sort of like because the Sith were doing all of this weird manipulation and yeah. and and creating life and trying to prolong life. It's almost like the light side countered them. Yeah. And said, "Boom! Here's Anakin." Yeah. And he's he is the chosen one. Yeah. The force, and that's what the prophecy sort of talks about with uh, you know Mace uh, Windu, Yoda, mm -hmm. um, the boy who's who you know would bring balance right to the force. So the reason that works is because he's balancing what the what the Sith lords, the current Sith lords, are doing. Yeah. And so, yeah, and then ultimately he will bring balance to the force. However, you see that by defeating the Sith, which some people are like, well, it creates an imbalance because the Sith are gone and now it's just the Jedi. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, it's it's uh, prophecy are meant to be i think kind of yeah mysterious right and Inter interpreted to have room for interpretation yeah room yeah. for interpretation and stuff like that so anyway this is a great one because i feel like people can it, it maybe maybe someone has a different thought and hopefully this is uh, you're sitting there and thinking like ez's got this wrong or mm -hmm. maybe he's got this right or he's he's close and you want to write in because i did not get a chance to really do a lot of digging and research on this one uh before we read it i wanted to make sure i got this out here for tino and for folks to kind of consume and think about because it is a cool question 